Hi students, how are you all? I am back with the second part of ratio and proportion. In first part, we discussed about ratio. You missed that video? No problem. The link of the first part where we discussed ratio, the link is there in the description box. You can check that. And in this second part, mainly we will discuss about proportion. Yes. First of all, what is called proportion? Proportion means when two ratios are equal or equivalent, then we tell that these two ratios are proportion. Okay? I mean, say, I'm saying you, the ratio of boys and girls in say class 10A in class 10 section A the ratio of boys and girls is 2 is to 3 ok and in 10B fine in the section B class 10 the ratio of boys and girls is again 2 is to 3 so section A 2 is to 3, section B is also 2 is to 3. So they are equivalent. They are equal. That means they are in proportion. Yes. Proportion means two ratios are equal or equivalent. Fine. Let us discuss with an example. Say, I am saying you, here is the number A, here is another number B. If you get the ratio that is A is to B. Now C is another number, D is another number. Now if you find the ratio of C and D, the ratio of C and D C is to D. So first we took out the ratio of A and B, A is to B. Then we are taking out the ratio of C and D that is C is to D. Now if you see if you see that this ratio and this ratio are equal, okay, the first ratio and the second ratio are equal, that means A, B, C and D are in proportion. Understood? So, the ratio of first two numbers and the ratio of last two numbers if they are equal, then all these four numbers are in proportion. Understood? So, what we discussed that A, B, C, D, four numbers are in proportion. That means the ratio of first two number equal to ratio of last two numbers. Fine. So, ratio of first two numbers equal to ratio of last two numbers. This is the main formula of proportion. You have to keep it here. Now, I am giving you four more numbers like 12 x 21 28. Okay. 12 x 21 28. Four numbers are there. Understood? Four numbers. 12x, 21, 28. And I am saying you, these four numbers are in proportion. Okay? Four numbers are in proportion. They are in proportion means the ratio of first two number equal to ratio of last two numbers. We know that. So, since they are in proportion, I can write that 12 is to x equal to 21 is to 28. Okay? Ratio of first two numbers equal to ratio of last two numbers. And as I told you, this is the main formula of proportion. Now, from the first portion that is in ratio, we discuss that 12 is to x means 12 by x. Okay. Equal to, this is 21 by 28. Fine. Now, we will cross multiply it, cross multiplication. 
I mean this and this cross multiplication x into 21 21x equal to 12 into 28 12 into 28 no need to multiply them just you keep as it is 12 into 28 x equal to 12 into 28 by this 21 will go down so 21 understood now let's cancel them by 7 3 ja 7 4 ja 3 4 ja so x equal to 4 4 ja 16 so we got this missing number what is the missing number x so what was the question the question is find this missing number okay find this missing number when all these four numbers are in proportion and as we know since they are in proportion so ratio of first two numbers equal to ratio of last two numbers so we have done that and we have taken out the value of x and here i have given this cross just to make you understand but you don't give cross in exams okay i have given cross just to make you understand that this is the process you don't write this cross in your exam paper the next question 48 12 64 find three numbers are there let us write that 48 12 64 three numbers are there and we have to find the fourth number means here we have to find a number here so that they are in proportion understood so we have to find the number at fourth position first second third fourth position let consider that this number is x okay fourth position number is x now since they are in proportion so according to the rule of proportion we know that ratio of first two equal to ratio of last two okay so 48 is to 12 equal to 64 is to x the ratio of first two numbers equal to ratio of last two numbers understood only these three numbers are given in the question in the question only 48 12 and 64 are given you have to find the fourth number fourth number you have to find which is missing so we are considering the fourth number be x so let us find it the rule is same 48 by 12 64 by x cross multiplication okay this this so 48 x like this 48 is equal to 12 into 64 and as i told you don't give this cross sign in your exam paper understood so x equal to 12 into 64 by 48 this 48 will come down fine 12 4 ja 48 by 4 16 ja so x equal to 16 so what is my fourth number my fourth number is 16 okay next question next question is little bit different 12 18 only two numbers are given okay and uh, they are asking that to find the third number okay like this 12 and 18 only two numbers are given only two numbers are given and we have to find the third number this third number i have to find say third number is x okay now this third number is we have to find but the condition is given that all these three numbers are in proportion okay all these three numbers are in proportion now we know the rule when some numbers are in proportion then ratio of first two equal to ratio of last two numbers yes ratio of first two equal to ratio of last two don't forget this formula let us apply that 
so ratio of first two equal to ratio of last two see ratio of first two number equal to ratio of last two number the formula we used here now 12 by 18 18 by x cross multiplication 12 x 18 into 18 x equal to this 12 will come down fine now we can cancel them by 6 6 2 ja 12 6 3 ja 18 2 9 ja so x equal to 3 9 ja 27 so what is my third number third number is 27 so this type of portion is also possible where two numbers will be given you have to find the third number and the condition is given that all these numbers are in proportion so just you have to remember the formula the ratio of first two numbers equal to ratio of last two numbers understood next question uh, you have to find the mean proportion of 6 and 54 again two numbers are given okay let us write that number 6 and 54 6 and 54 only two numbers are given and you have to find the mean proportion like here we have to find the third proportion okay third proportion you have to find that is first second third proportion you have to find but in this sum you have to find the mean proportion mean proportion means the middle number what I said mean proportion means the middle number you have to find that is the middle number you have to find that is x okay it's x the middle one you have to find and all these numbers are in proportion so the same formula what is the formula of proportion the ratio of first two numbers equal to ratio of last two numbers so let's use it So, ratio of first two number equal to ratio of last two numbers. Now, 6 by x, x by 54. Okay. x into x, x square. Understood? This x into x, x square. 6 into 54. Fine. Now, so, x square equal to 6 into 54. Here we have to multiply it because nothing is there to get down. So we have to multiply, no other option. 3 to 4. Understood? Now x equal to x square equal to 3 to 4. So x equal to root over 3 to 4. So we have to find the square root of 324. You know how to find the square root? You have done it in class, uh, previous classes, I mean junior classes. Let us see that. 3, 2, 4. This is 3, 2, 4. 2, 2, 4. Okay, you have to do that. And after that, from 2, you have to take 1. From 2, you have to take on. How? Say. From this 2. From this 2, I have to take 1. From this 2. From this 2, I have to take 1. Okay? From this 2. From this 2, again I have to take 1. Understood? From 2 numbers, you have to take 1 number. Again, from two numbers, you have to take one number. This is the rule of square root. Finding square root. You know the rule. So, from this two, I am taking one. From this two, I am taking one. From this two, I have taken one. So, two, three, just six. Six, three, just eighteen. You have to multiply them. Two, three, just six. Three, just eighteen. So, x equal to eighteen. Understood? Now, the next sum, 
द रेशियो ऑफ एजेस ऑफ अर्पिता एंड बिना क्वेश्चन यू कैन रीड डिस्प्लेइंग ऑन योर स्क्रीन अर्पिता एंड बिना देयर एजेस आर इन रेशियो फोर इज टू सेवन सो लेट अस राइट दैट अर्पिता इज टू बिना फोर इज टू सेवन ओके दिस टाइप ऑफ सम वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड इन द पोर्शन रेशियो the first part of this video as i told you if you have missed ratio the link of that video is there in the description box you can check that now arpita and bina their ages are in ratio 4 is to 7 so we can consider that let the age of arpita be 4x and the age of bina be 7x Understood? Age of Arpita four x, age of Bina seven x. Since the ratio is given four is to seven. Understood? Now they are saying that eight years ago. Now you answer me a question. Say your age is say fifteen years. Okay, your age is fifteen years. So what was your age eight years ago? Yes, you have to subtract your present age is fifteen. Say your present age is fifteen. So eight years ago, you have to subtract eight. Fifteen minus eight, seven. So by subtracting, you will get the age eight years ago. Understood? So same here, eight years ago. So can you answer me? What was the age of Arpita? Eight years ago, yes. Arpita's age is four x now, so four x minus eight. This was the age of Arpita eight years ago. Just we are subtracting eight. Understood? Now in the same way, what was the age of Bina eight years ago? That is seven x minus eight. So this is Arpita's age. This is Bina's age eight years ago. Okay, and this is their ratio. This is the ratio of their ages eight years ago. Now see the question. It is given that the their ages were in the ratio one is to two. Okay, eight years ago. The ratio of their ages was one is to two. That means this equal to one is to two. Understood? Fine. So we can write that four x minus eight by seven x minus eight. Understood? Equal to one by two. Now cross multiplication. You know that this and this. Okay, this and this. So two into this, that is like this, equal to one into this, like this. Okay, eight x minus sixteen, seven x minus eight. Fine. All the x will come this side. Okay, so eight x. This seven x is coming this side. This is plus seven x. So when it will come here, minus seven x, minus seven x equal to this minus sixteen will go that side, plus sixteen, like this. Understood? All the x this side, where x is not there, will go that side. Like this, see here x are not there, but here all the x are there. Okay, eight x minus seven x is x equal to sixteen minus eight is eight. So the value of x is eight. Now, if I ask you, what is the present age of Arpita? Present age, age of Arpita, four x, that is 
फोर इंटू एक्स वट इज एक्स एट एट थर्टी टू इयर्स वट इज द प्रेजेंट एज ऑफ बिना बिना इज सेवन एक्स सेवन इंटू एट दैट इज फिफ्टी सिक्स इयर्स अंडरस्टेड सो इन दिस वे वी कैन फाइंड द प्रेजेंट एज ऑफ Arpita and Bina. I hope you understood this sum. Let us see one more sum. See the next sum displaying on your screen. A building of height eight meter. Fine. Cast a shadow of length six meter. Let us draw it. This is the ground, and here is the building. Okay, eight meter, and. This much is the shadow, okay? This is its shadow. Fine. Eight meter is the building whose shadow is six meter. Now, what is given in the next part? If exactly at the same time, same time of the day, the length of the shadow of a tower is eighteen meter. Now, here is a tower. Okay, this is a tower. Fine. Whose shadow is this is the shadow is eighteen meter. Okay. This is the shadow of this tower is eighteen meter. What do you have to find? What is the height of the tower? Height of the tower means you have to find this. Okay. That is say x. Let x be the height of the tower understood now since both the measurements are taken at the same time of the day understood at the same time of the day both the measurements are taken i mean the ratio of this two must be equal to the ratio of this two understood the ratio of height to shadow and here the ratio of height to shadow both the ratio has to be equal why because both the measurements are taken at same time of the day understood same time that's why the ratios will be same that means they are in proportion yes they are in proportion so as i told you the ratio of height to shadow that is 8 is to 6 And there, height to shadow, x is to eighteen. That has to be equal. Okay, height to shadow, height to shadow. They are equal. Why are they equal? I repeat, why are they equal? Because the measurements are taken at same time of the day. Understood? It's same time of the day. Okay. Now. Eight by six equal to x by eighteen. We know the calculation. So six x cross multiplication six x equal to eighteen to eighteen. X equal to eighteen to eighteen by six. Six three zero. So eighteen to three twenty four. So what is the height of this tower? Twenty four meter. Understood? so height of the tower height of the tower equal to 24 meter so so in this video we have seen what is called proportion proportion means two ratios are equal when two ratios are equal to each other then they are called proportion and uh, we have also uh seen how to find the uh third number or fourth number or the mean proportion uh from the question given of that type and also we have done few uh word sums okay so i hope you understood this proportion you must practice that okay thank you